thing that really jumped out to me is the Yankees did everything right, and the Twins seemed like they did everything wrong. This is a 101-win team, and I never thought they'd be swept. As good as the Yankees are, I thought they'd show up a little bit more than this. Well, you would think, assume that, you know, as many home runs they hit throughout the year, that one game they would bust out. But, uh, you know, I agree with the guys in the, in the studio that they just look like a better team. The, the Yankees look like a better team. They caught the ball. They made the plays. You don't know how deflating it is as a team to be down. And every time you have an opportunity to score runs, somebody makes a great play. And, and the Yankees, sometimes their defense was a little shaky throughout the year, but so far in the playoffs, it's been great. Hey, guys, let's talk about Aaron Boone and the job that he did with the bullpen this entire series. We know last year in the postseason may be a little slow going to the bullpen. I thought he managed it brilliantly tonight. And you can see exactly what he's going to do the remainder of the way, and he kind of gave you a hint over the first two games. So if he gets four innings out of a starter, he's thrilled. He's not going that far without Avino if he's, if he's not throwing strikes. If Canely's not sharp, he's going to take him out. And as he did in game one, he was prepared to get nine outs or six outs, no, nine outs, between uh, between Britain and Chapman. It's exactly what he did today. The only thing that stopped it on, on, on the first game was they got more runs than they brought in Jay Happ. But that looks like it's going to be the formula. They they want more than an inning out of the last two guys. I, you know, it can happen. And you go all the way back through the glory years. I mean, Mariano used to get six outs, five outs at times. Joe Torre would use him in big games. I mean, this is a game where you've got an opportunity to close out a team. You use your best guys. And right now you're waiting to hear what happened to Britain. But I don't think he had any the intention of, of Britain finishing that eighth, he was going to get to Chapman anyway. Paul, I'm sure there were some seasons where you headed into the postseason and didn't love the way your swings felt at the end of the regular season. Didi Gregorius was in that situation this year, and now you look what he did in the division series, and I'm sure he feels like he is ready to go and play for the rest of October. What did you think of Gregorius' swings tonight? You know, a lot of people question Gregorius and Torres coming into the season that they didn't have great Septembers. It means absolutely nothing. As soon as you get to the playoffs, it's different. And I'll tell you another thing. Now that this first series is over, look for Sanchez. Look for Stanton. Guys that seem to be getting closer, they could have big series next season. Or next series. So uh, as a player, you close the book on this. You enjoy it. But now you get an opportunity to do something big in the next series. And I will tell you this. is uh, There's added pressure on D.D. Gregorius because he's going to be a free agent at the end of this year. At the beginning of the year, even when he was coming back from Tommy John surgery, he just assumed that he'd be back. But Glaber Torres did so well filling in for him. And then he struggled since August. So this is kind of his, you know, plea. All right, I want to stay here. Watch what I do in the postseason. So this is doubly big for him. He wants the Yankees to win and he wants to put on a show for himself as well. Michael Pauly, tell me a little bit about Severino, especially that second inning. Bases loaded, nobody out. What was your feeling at that time? Jeff, I thought that was the game right there. I mean, the Twins had an opportunity to make a statement. They're in front of a loud, raucous crowd. Bases loaded, nobody out. Didn't seem like Severino had great command. His stuff was pretty good, but the command wasn't there. And when he got out of that jam, I thought to myself, game over. Oh, there was no doubt. I mean, that was their opportunity to get this crowd involved, to, to you know, to be the, the home field thing. And, and I think it showed up the next inning. Cave strikes out, and then he dies for a ball in left field. That's almost desperation that he had no chance. And that's his frustration of not coming through a big situation. Again, the Yankees in every aspect of this series outplayed the Twins.